one, two, one, two, three. What's up, guys? This is gonna be a first person gorilla style fridge tour. People have been asking what I eat. Rather than talk about it, I thought, let me show you guys. So, excuse me if things aren't in frame all the time. This is my first time, be gentle. We got almond milk, we got two flavors. Original, we got the dark chocolate, which is, I have to say, my favorite type of almond milk just about ever. If you buy this, you will definitely become addicted. I'm not promoting any brands here. I'm talking more about ingredients, right? What I eat on the daily. So right here, we got some fancy moutard, some Dijon, Dijon A. We got also apple cider vinegar for the pectin. We got sriracha sauce. Now watch this, like a boss, anyone that's a self-respecting bro will have two of them in case you run out of one, so you're never without. That's just bro rule 101. We got some fancy organic ketchup so it's low in fat you know it's, that's good for you we got some sauerkraut right fermented product big fan of fermented products such as kimchi for gastrointestinal health i believe if you're eating a lot of food you got to make sure your system is running smoothly speaking of which we just got some tomatoes here some white corn and black bean sauce we got of course pumpkin seeds i'm a big fan of pumpkin seeds for saying rock hard in a funky place we got flax seeds because i like to poop on the daily sometimes multiple times in the day and of course fish oil ignore the price tag ignore the brand i'm talking just about fish oil in general i think everybody should be should be consuming this i will be making a video as to why very soon but needless to say i've been taking it it's one of my primary supplements i take every single day by okay we're talking about a probiotic here for your gut once again so this is just in liquid form how does it taste tangy as hell and we got Wow, we got goat cream butter because cow dairy does not sit well with me by and large, so I'll consume goat dairy and sheep. So right here we just got some goat butter, right, some conjugated linoleic acid. And we got right here herbaceousness, any self-respecting chef is gonna have some herbs in the house, some fresh thyme. All right, so that's the side profile, let's bam, go to the main section right here. So. Yep, I am confirmed paleo with the, oh no, there's bread, I uh, guess not. So we got right here, eggs, a lot of eggs, they're a staple. Hey, boil them, fry them, omelets, chicken, just a little bit of cooked chicken right here for now. We got some pineapple, we got some tangerines. As I was saying before, fermented products, big fan of. Instead of it being just regular yogurt, I go with the goat milk, right? What works with me. And bros that want to bulk and that have a budget, if you want to, Tone and tighten your bank account because it's expensive. Get this sheep's milk right here. Why? Let's look at the calories. So you know the Go Mad diet, right? Gallon of milk a day. Try, try it with sheep's milk. Per 250 milliliters, you have 280 calories. So this whole thing right here, this little container, this little liter, is about 1,200 calories. Nobody has excuses that they can't gain weight. You drink one of these a day and you'll be all right. Spinach is just filled with greens right here. So got some meat, which I'll be going into details about. Also, got some bread. It's biblical. It's sprouted whole grain, so you know it must be good, right? I like the texture. I like the taste of it itself. And it's called Food for Life. It makes me feel good about myself some special way. Here, Swiss chard, kale, and some more kale. You got to be pumping those greens. Just call me the green giant. Mainly what you'll be seeing here. We got also... Got some chicken breasts, so all this stuff right here like this, these are some massive breasts, some double D's going on. We got also my rice container that I'll make my rice for the week, and then it's right there. I'll do the same when it comes to beans. Why beans? Because I like to fart. I like my fiber. Got some corn tortillas, throw down with that stuff. And of course, I'll show you what, so this is filmed on a Friday, so this is the meat that I have in the fridge in the house at this time reach okay so right here we got first of all some turkey sausages once again a great ecuadorian family makes this appreciate that we also got here some black angus ground naturally raised sirloin uh right here so me i do believe there is a hundred percent price permitting a difference in terms of quality and certainly taste with naturally raised products they just taste better if you go to the supermarket and sometimes you buy a steak or whatnot, sometimes it tastes like absolute poop poop because it's been sitting out there too long. 
So right here, we also have some more veggie tabels. We got some avocados, which I eat every single day. Great fast source, also very tasty. Some mushrooms, peppers, zucchinis. I'm a confirmed hippie with how much green vegetables I eat. But if people are wondering, you know, what do I eat? This is it, broccoli, because I like to take my health seriously. I like when I eat food, I keep saying it sits right with me and it makes me feel like I have more energy. So cauliflower, carrots, I do juice uh, fairly often. So I'll throw that in with some ginger, some celery, just once again to meet that quota. I'm very serious, I don't fuck around when it comes to micronutrients. So what I was saying to people, like, you know, you gotta track your macros, and you also, as in the entry with Alan Aragon, you have to pay attention to the micronutrients, vegetables, that's what I'm talking about, fruits, vegetables, you know, nuts and seeds. So let's go on right here to, whoo, represent Canada. Anyone knows this brand right here, President's Choice, give a shout out. Wild Canadian blueberries, not any type of blueberries, these, these bitches are wild, okay? They're going nutty. And of course, we got here just some more meat, okay, in the freezer itself. So extra lean ground turkey, because I don't want to get too fat. We got some more meat back there, and we have a whole lot of fish. I just kind of went ham on that, wild sockeye, wild fillet, stuff like that. And right here, in case I want to throw it into my actual omelet, homelet, we got some smoked salmon. So taking the perspective back right here, being out of focus once again, don't give a shit. Just want to say in closing, what do I eat? Well, you can see the meat, you can see the chicken, you can see the beef, you can see the fish, right? I also usually have steak in here, eggs, dairy, big emphasis on vegetables, right? Kale, spinach, Swiss chard, also some nuts and seeds, some flaxseed, fish oil, and then some accessory stuff that I like to eat. It's a combination of what sits right, what I want to eat and what I like to eat, which is most important. You have to eat things that you enjoy. And me, well, I guess I'm just damn well near a barbarian because I like to eat meat, vegetables, and you know, I also don't have featured here some coconut oil, some olive oil, some sweet potatoes, some oats, things of this nature, right, that I eat. Guys, that's been the quick fridge tour. If you want to see more, perhaps what I eat on a regular basis or what I a grocery haul because I know those are popular, make sure to leave a comment, like this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace.